This is a, again a, a, an acoustic tube and there are resonances in the tube. Remember the uh, demonstration that Dr. Denardo did at the beginning uh, with the, uh, the string and driving the various modes of the string, the fundamental, the first mode and so on and so forth. Remember that? Well, the same thing should happen in a resonant cavity like this. Uh, so sound should have regions of, of high amplitude, regions of low amplitude and so on and so forth. So it, ha it has to have uh, high pressure, low pressure, and, and be oscillating back and forth the same way that the, playing with the string would. Um, now, <clears throat> I have in, in, in this tube, which is called a Kunz tube, after this guy, um, uh, I have uh, light discs, stereoform discs, and the discs are actually gonna go to the regions of um, um, low pressure, high particle velocity, where, where, this, where the gas is moving very fast, that's where these guys are gonna agglomerate. So this, this particular uh, uh, sound um, situation can, can be actually useful. You can agglomerate particles in velocity anti-notes in a resonator, like this one. So, are you ready? It's gonna be loud. So what I did there was to change the pitch, the, the frequency of the sound. I increased it, therefore the, uh, the wavelength of sound became shorter. By increasing the frequency, you reduce the wavelength. And these guys, these little discs, um, are functioning as imagers of the sound waves uh, or the pressures where the, the, place, the places where the pressure is a minimum in the sound field.